Hey everybody, uh, it's kind of bright out here today, but it's a good day for solar, and right behind me is a, a kid's playset that uh, I bought used off Craigslist, and I'm repurposing it as a ground mount for a 400 watt solar panel. Uh, my brother stopped over the other day so we could actually get the panel up there, and I'm going to quick show you how we mounted it. So first of all, we had a pair of ladders, and we had to lift this thing up from the ground to up here. And I already had the aluminum pieces bolted to the back of the solar panel. Uh, this right here is where one of the uh, uh, the main roof supports is, is uh, right back underneath there. So ahead of time I had a hole drilled there and a lag bolt handy. So we lifted it up onto the roof. I put this lag bolt through right away to uh, just hold this in place. Then we leveled it. And also before lifting it up here, I had already cut a 2x6 to... Uh, four and a half uh, inch width because that's the uh, the distance in the height from this upper roof to the lower roof. So what that does is it gives you some space under uh, the solar panel. So there's lots of room for uh, the air to circulate, keep it cool, and uh, match up this roof height. So that gets screws from behind up through the roof to hold that in place. And uh, let's take a look at the back of the roof now. Okay, so here's the, the back side of the roof. Um, you can see that the, the photovoltaic extends beyond the peak. Uh, so what I did is I've got a couple of pieces of aluminum that they were the cut off from the support pieces uh, used on the back of the panel. And what I did was uh, mounted it down to the roof with a couple of screws here, and then up there drilled a hole so I've got a cross bolt going through and into that aluminum frame that I bolted onto the photovoltaic panel. Now, unfortunately, you know, there's only roof supports every so many inches here, and that doesn't line up with one. So what I'm gonna do is add another roof support underneath the roof. Uh, so just for example, uh, on the inside of the clubhouse here, you can see behind me one of those roof supports, but they're uh, rather widely spaced out, and they're not even uh, two by fours. It's very lightweight construction. Those are actually about two and a quarter inches thick. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take a pair of two by fours and rip them to two and a quarter inches. And then I'm gonna add one right over here where uh, that bracket for the solar panel is gonna mount. And then uh, screw it in up at the ridge and down at the bottom over here. So it's nice and solid and we actually have a solid place to mount the solar panel. I've... So now I've got my uh, two by four that I ripped down to be a one by three or two by three rather. And uh, I cut both ends on a 45, and then that way, uh, we're just going to take this end, put it all the way up into the ridge. The bottom end goes down to the uh, the bottom there. Uh, put a couple screws through the top and the bottom, and then I got a nice solid place for that bracket to mount into. And then here, this one gets screwed in from the outside. And then back on the roof, I'm just going to run those screws uh, right through again, only this time into a support. And I'm not going to show you that because I can't hold a drill, a ladder, and a camera safely at the same time. Okay, now uh, I put in the center mount uh, from the outside of the roof. And uh, I got three screws going through that mount from the backside that come out here, here, and here, which unfortunately isn't on that roof support, but it's right next to it. So I already got a rip cut, and I'm going to sister that. I'm going to put it right up here, and then I can put screws through this way. So I'll cut the 45 on both ends, uh, back those screws out, slap that up there, put those screws in, and then run the screws from that outside bracket back down. Be nice and solid. Okay, I've got the solar panel uh, pretty sol solidly attached up there. It's all uh, 5 16 lag bolts, uh, four inch long through bolts with uh, stainless steel nuts and lock washers on the end. Uh, the little girl over there is enjoying swinging, uh, but I did notice that this whole thing is cross bracing the one direction, but not the other. So I'm gonna add some additional cross bracing to it. And then after that, I can start running the wiring and the conduit for hooking up the solar power.